Ya bada na bada ba, ya bada na bada ba, ikatuna mataya. 
for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ in this ministry. Uh, many people will be restored. Many people will be restored through the power of the Lord Jesus. This nation will touch this ministry, will touch this nation, will touch this community, will touch this city, will bring revival to this city and this nation. In and the nations of our world. Mazika Bota, Karabadabaha, Iramadabaha, Yabakadabalabaha, Imasukabaha, Madeka Ko Paranabashia, Asamani Kato, Aramiri, O Rapapapa, Yakatoni Miata. Father, we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> we are going to pray that the Holy Spirit will bring his people into this house. That God will bring many people to this house by the power of the Holy Spirit in this end Lift up your voice and pray. Makuta Yarabaha, Yeka Padala Boshabaha, Raka Padala Baha, Yeka Padala Boshaha, Raka Payana Baha, Yema Sakuni Yaka, Rapi Yaka, Rapa Baba, Yema Sutta Baha, Yema Tayana Baha, Rapa Katabaha, Yema Sakuni Yaka, Arika Tiriakua, Ayaka Padiaka, Yapika. For the laborers are few and the work is plentiful. Holy Spirit, bring your own people, plant them in this house, bring the destiny helpers, bring the saints helpers, bring those that will be here, keep on financiers in this ministry. Father, bring them, O oh Lord, bring them, O oh Lord. Holy Spirit, bring your people, for no one can come to you except by you in the name of Jesus. We thank you for answered prayer in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody shout amen. Amen. Now we are going to pray that the power of God will come upon this nation. The power of God will bring transformation to this nation and the nations of our world. Will be your mouth and pray. Matukapa, Rikatua, Arabashakaha, Arikapaluakapa, Yapaduka Piriata, La Besha Katu Parakata, Imatuka Parakataya, Isabakatu Shabe, Abakatu Kibelekaha, Ibula Kataya Piria, Asuka Piriata, Ilaka. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, shout Amen. Now we are going to pray for Russia and Ukraine and the rest of the world that there is fighting. We are going to pray that God should have mercy upon this nation and the world should cease in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, somebody, and pray that you may in Malakatoa, Ayaka, Kemeriata. Father, we command the wars to be seized. Let the mercy of God prevail over the nations where there are wars and rumors of wars. In Katoa, Lakataya, Asimi Atoa, we decree uh, over Ukraine, uh, Father, have mercy of the people of Ukraine and have mercy upon Russia. Cause the war to cease, uh, cause the war to end uh, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. Shall amen. amen. Hallelujah. We are going to pray that as we live here, may the favor of God catapult us to our next dimension, that our blessings should be manifest. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Shout Amen. Now we are going to thank God for answered prayer. The Bible says that He is the God that answers by fire. The God of Elijah. Open your mouth and thank God for answered prayer. Lipa katala busha, sabili ata. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you all the praise for answered prayer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And everybody shout Amen. amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. We will certainly pray.
Hallelujah. Praise be to God. God is good and all the time. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, by the end of this service, you will see the power of God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God that he has brought us this far. And next week, we are entering into the week of Christmas. Hallelujah. If you are happy, put your hands together for the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. So we thank God that he has brought us this far. It is by his grace and his message that has brought us this far. We give God the praise and we give God the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, I'm going to be preaching on this message that the Lord has given me for this week, today, and next week. Hallelujah. And it is a Christmas message. And the title of the message is, The Word Became Flesh. We welcome all our online viewers this morning, wherever you are watching us from. We decree and declare by the power of the Lord, that the power of the Lord will reach you. This same grace and anointing that is here will also touch you wherever you are in the name of Jesus if you believe that shout amen so may the Lord God bless all our online viewers wherever you are watching from may the Lord bless you in Jesus mighty name amen so the message is entitled the word became flesh the word became flesh John chapter 1 the verse number 14 praise the Lord our scripture is found from John chapter 1, the verse number 14. Hallelujah. This season we are in is a season of favor. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, you are in the season of favor. And the favor of God will locate you in the name of Jesus. If you believe that, shout amen. Amen. John chapter number 1, the verse number 14. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. The Bible says that, and the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Hallelujah. So I took this message from this scripture. The word became flesh. Who is the word of God? Jesus Christ is the word of God. Who is the word of God? The word of God is Jesus Christ, the second person of the Godhead. Hallelujah. The Bible says that, and there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. Hallelujah. These three forms the fullness of the Godhead body. And I decree over your life that may the word of God who is the second person of the Godhead may it manifest himself in your life in this season in the name of Jesus if you believe that shout amen put your hands together for the Lord so the Bible says that and the word became flesh that means that Jesus Christ who was the word of God who is the second person of the Godhead he was the one that was made flesh and the Bible says that we saw his glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. He was the one, it was the Word, Jesus, the second person of the Godhead, that manifested in the flesh, that revealed the fullness of the Father. Hallelujah. And I pray in the name of Jesus, as Jesus revealed the Father, Jesus will also reveal every good thing in your life. If you believe that, shout amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. So the Bible says, and the word was made flesh. Why did the word made flesh? Why was the word made flesh? Because without the word becoming flesh, we wouldn't have seen the glory of the Father. We wouldn't have seen who the God Almighty is. So it was the, the word, which was the second person of the Godhead, that came down and was born to the Virgin Mary. The Bible says uh, in the book of Isaiah 7, 14, that behold, I will give you a sign. And that sign, a, 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 a virgin shall, shall conceive and have a child, and his name shall be called Jesus, which means he shall save his people from their sins. He shall deliver his people, and his name shall be called the Savior. So the second person 
who was in the Godhead, who was in the Trinity, the Trinitarian concept, God has to send the second person who was Jesus to come in the flesh. And that is why Jesus became flesh. That is why Jesus was born for you and I, so that we will see God in our midst. And the Bible says that he dwelt amongst us and we saw his glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father. So he was the only begotten of the Father. The Bible says that no man has seen God at any time, but it was that it was the son who was in the bosom of the father that revealed the father. That means that everything that is hidden in our lives, it can only be revealed by Jesus. And if you have Jesus in your life, every hidden thing in your life shall be revealed. I pray and prophesy over our lives that anything that has been hidden against our lives, that we cannot see the glory of God, may that power be broken as Jesus manifests, as Jesus dwells amongst us in this season. May we behold the revealing of the power of the glory of God in our lives, in our families, in the life of our children, in our businesses, in our homes, in our families. In every area of our life, if you believe that, shout amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. I see the word revealing all things unto you. I see the word bringing you wisdom. I see the word bringing you prosperity. I see the word bringing you harmony. I see the word of God bringing you peace. I see the word of God bringing you joy. For it is the word that reveals all things. And I see the power of the word revealing God's glory, revealing God's power, revealing God's goodness, revealing God's message over our lives in this season. If you believe that, shout, I believe it. Put your hands together for the Lord. So the word became flesh, so that we will behold the glory of the Father, who was full of grace and truth. It was the word that came flesh that brought us the grace of God. Without the word, without Jesus being born, the grace of God wouldn't have been revealed. The grace of God was hidden in eternity, but it was through the revealing of Jesus, the word becoming flesh, that revealed the grace of God and the love of God over our lives. And in this season, I see the grace of God manifesting over our lives in the name of Jesus. If you believe that, shall I receive the grace of God? Put your hands together for the Lord. So the word became flesh so that we will see the grace of God. And the grace of God was manifested through the word becoming flesh. Without the word becoming flesh, the grace of God wouldn't have been seen. We wouldn't have behold the grace that was upon our life. So it was the word that revealed the grace of God. And it was the same word that revealed the glory of God. And it was the same word that also revealed the truth. Hallelujah. Any truth that you want to know about your life, any truth that you want to know about God, any truth that you want to know about all things that pertains to life and godliness is embedded in the word of God, in Jesus. That is what Jesus himself said in the book of John chapter 14 verse 6. He said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. Whosoever believeth in me, ah, will have eternal life. And I pray in the name of Jesus over our lives ah, that through the revealing of the word, through the word becoming flesh, we have eternal salvation, we have redemption, we have deliverance, we have all things in our life. Tell your neighbor, never by the word of the Lord, by the word becoming flesh, I have the truth of God in me, in Jesus' mighty name. Put your hands together for Jesus. Why was the word made flesh? The word was made flesh so that you and I will have reconciliation with God. It was when Jesus was born that we have reconciliation and we have peace with God the Father. We were far away, we were separated from God. We were sinners, we were aliens, but through the word becoming flesh, when Jesus became flesh, when Jesus was born, immediately Jesus was born, we had reconciliation with God. God reconciled us back. 
with us with himself hallelujah and in this season i see anything that has separated us from far away from god i see the word being made flesh bringing us back to god like never before bringing our families back to god like never before bringing our nation back to god like never before bringing our homes back to god like never before bringing all those uh, that have gone away from the love of god back to god one more time in the name of jesus put your hands together for the lord so the bible says that the word became flesh so that we will see his glory and his glory brought us reconciliation i pray in the name of jesus that in this season as we remember the birth and the celebration of our lord jesus christ may we be reconciled may everything in our life be reconciled in the name of jesus uh, let's rise up on our feet and let's begin to pray right now we are going to pray for the reconciliation of our life reconciliation of our souls reconciliation even with our work with god reconciliation in our home our families uh, reconciliation in every area of our life we are going to pray for the spirit of reconciliation to come upon us right now. Everybody lift up your voice and begin to pray. Father, we pray that in this season, as the word became flesh, as the word revealed your glory, we pray that reconciliation will be activated in our lives. In every area of our life, in the name of Jesus, everybody online pray for the reconciliation of the goodness of God, of the mercies of God. Over your life, over your family, over your health, over the work of your heart, your finances, and everything that concerns your life. Pray for the reconciliation father we pray for reconciliation in our lives in this season let the spirit and the power of reconciliation be manifested upon us in the name of jesus let the power of reconciliation be released over this ministry in our we will experience the power of your love, the power of coming together with you at peace in the name of Jesus. We pray somebody pray the power of reconciliation is coming upon our homes, is coming upon our families, is coming upon our children, is coming upon our businesses, is coming upon our finances, is coming upon our health, is coming upon the work of our hands, is coming upon our going out and our coming in. The spirit and the power of reconciliation is going to be released over our lives in this season. We will see the glory of God. We will see the power of God. We will see the grace of God manifesting over our life in every area of our life. Masika Kulamaha, Yaka Panama, Yaka Kulama Shikata, Yaka Kutilia, Ripa Papa, Yaka Kuparakata, Raka Padakata, Ipa Kulamaha, Yaka Katanamaha, Yaka Tanabayanaba, Yaka Tabalamaha, Yaka Tilia, Yaka Tapania, A Padakata, A Palakata. Ye papa, rakatua, ye rakatana maha, ye katana maha, ya kapiria, 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 ye kapanuaka, ya kapalaka, ya kapalaka tua, let the power, let the grace of reconciliation rest upon us, rest upon us, rest upon us, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, I pray and prophesy over everybody that is watching us right now online, connected to us right now, may the power and the spirit of favor rest upon you in every area of your life, in Jesus' mighty name, and may the word 
the God bless in your life. In this week, may you experience the glory of the Father in your life. May the glory of the Father be revealed in your life. May the power and the glory and the spirit of favor be released in your life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And everybody shout Amen. Hallelujah. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us, even now and forevermore. Amen. Surely.